In this video, we're going to collect system logs with Promptail, Loki, and Grafana using Docker Compose. So here's what we're going to be building completely from scratch. What these are are logs coming from our Promptail container. We can see this by what we're doing is we're querying for the file name dpkg.log, and we also created a custom one called access.log, where if we run this query, we can see it right here saying, hi, how are you? It's just a simple log file I made. But the way this works is essentially we use Promptail, which is this right here, we created a job called var logs where it will analyze any kind of log in this directory. So we're going to use Promptail to collect logs using its scraping settings, and then it's going to transport these logs to Loki, and then Loki will store these logs, and then we will use Grafana to visualize the logs, which is what we're seeing down here. And we're going to set this up completely from scratch using Docker and Docker Compose. So to begin this project, just have an empty directory, and the first thing we're going to do is create our environment variables. And these will specify the name of our Docker project, also specify the location of all of our servers. So, for example, we have our project, it's going to be called Grafana Loki Promptail. Then we have our Loki container name, Promptail, Grafana. Docker will perform DNS under the hood, which is why we can use these as the host names. And then we have our ports, which are all the default ports for each. So 3100 is the default for Loki, 9080 for Promptail, and 3000 for Grafana. And the thing that's important here, though, is these are reserved environment variables for the Grafana, the Grafana image. So under the hood, it uses these names specifically. And what this will do is disable that login page so we don't have to log in and set our anonymous role to admin and also just specify our log level is worn so we don't get a ton of logs in the console. And now what we want to do next is I'm going to create a configs folder to hold all our configurations. And the first one is going to be localconfig.yaml. And what we're going to use this for is to set the Loki server location and also the storage location for the logs to be our local file system. So a little rundown of what some of these fields do. So basically we're disabling authentication, which if it was true, we'd have to use this specific header, but we're not gonna do that. Next, we're configuring our server to listen on the container name and the provided port. These are environment variables that from our .env file. Next, we have our common configuration, which is shared between the multiple modules. And what we can specify in here is where to store our logs, and we want to store them in the local file system. So you can use S3, GCS, but we're using our local file system. And this configuration file will be loaded into our Loki image using Docker Compose or Docker Volumes, but that's what we'll do with all these configurations, actually. And so the next configuration we want to work on is our Promptail config, which is going to be promptail.yaml. And what we're going to use this configuration to do is just set the location for Promptail to scrape for logs. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to paste this in again, do a quick rundown. So once again, the location of our Promptail server. And now this is going to be where Promptail will save things, which is going to be temp positions.yaml. Then we have our clients, which is going to be our Loki container. And this address is important, so Loki API v1 push, which is the default location for Loki's HTTP API to push logs to. And now let's configure how Promptail will scrape for logs. And it's, if you've used Prometheus before, it's pretty similar to that. But essentially what we're going to do is just specify our targets. And this is going to be our current machine because we want our system logs. And localhost is also the default value. And then we're going to label a job called var logs. And the logs we're going to look at is any ending any log ending in dash log that's in the location dash var dash log. And that's all we need to do with Promptail. Now let's configure Grafana. And the, what we're going to configure Grafana to have is just a data source file, which is going to be data sources.yaml. And this file here will essentially allow us to have a data source already hooked up in Grafana without having to configure it with the manually with the UI. And this is going to be a bit of a smaller configuration file than the others. So all we're going to have in here is just the name of the data source, which we're going to call Loki, and the type is Loki, and the URL for the data source is going to be the Loki container name and then the port. So remember, Promptail will scrape for the system logs, send them off to Loki, and then Grafana will get the logs from Loki and allow us to visualize them easily. That's all we need here. Next, let's just set up our Docker Compose services. So it's going to be docker compose.yaml, and I'm just going to paste in all three of our services and let me just go over briefly what they do. So we're just gonna name our project. Then we have our services. And the first one is gonna be Loki. We wanna pull it always from this, from, for me, the Docker Hub repository. It's called Grafana-Loki. 
We set our container name, load environment variables, and here we copy over our local config.yaml into the container, so we have our own custom configuration. Then we map our ports, and these commands we provide are important because this line right here, config.expand.env, allows us to import environment variables, and then we also have to set the location of our configuration file if we are using this command too. Then Grafana, we're pulling also, set the name of our container, env files that we're gonna load into the container, and then another volume mapping. So we place this data sources into Grafana's provisioning, data sources, data source.yaml. Provisioning basically is Grafana's way of allowing us to configure Grafana instances with configuration files as opposed to doing it manually. Then we map our ports and we want our Grafana service to start after Loki is set up because we're connecting to Loki from it. And then finally we have our promptel service, which we're gonna pull. We have our container name, load environment variable files, and we wanna copy all our volumes from Nginx. And actually this is incorrect. I copied that from another video I'm gonna make. What we are instead using is our volumes. We're just gonna copy over promptail.yaml into config.yaml, which is promptail's default configuration file. Then we map our ports. This one also depends on Loki. And then we set the location of our configuration files and allow us to use environment variables. But now all we need to do is just run this and we can just do this easily with Docker Compose up. And looks like I forgot a dollar sign right here, which is why we have the error services must be a string. So let's try this again. And it looks like we are getting unsupported protocol. And I think that's because we put our container name inside our configuration here or inside our promptail configuration. For this, we need to specify HTTP. So if I do that, now let me try and spin this up again. And now we're getting another error. So data sources.yaml is a directory. So we must've gotten our mapping, our volume mapping wrong would be my guess. So if we go over to Grafana and look at data so configs dash data sources.yaml, we did YML instead of YAML. So that's why it created a directory instead. So let's close this down. And now third time's a charm. Cool, it doesn't look like anything is complaining now. So the first thing we need to, I wanna do is navigate to our data sources to see our Loki data source. So that'll be localhost 3000 connections and data sources. And here we are right here, loci. And if we double check the connection is working by let's test it and we're successfully connected, sweet. So Grafana is set up correctly. Um, next thing I wanna check is Let's check Promptail to see that our targets were set up correctly. So if we go to localhost 9080 and targets, we can see our job of our logs right here. We called it system. And these are the logs in this location. So we can see we have no data in fail log or last log, but we do in dpkg.log. So we could look at that information inside Grafana. But to better demonstrate what's going on, I actually wanna show you, I wanna create our own log file and then we can query that. So what we're gonna do is Docker, we're gonna navigate into our Promptail container. And what I wanna do is just echo a simple string into the var log directory, and we're gonna call it access log. And now if we check our Promptail targets, if we refresh the page, notice our access.log is now here, and it has 15 position. So now if we navigate over to Loki, and let's do explore, and what I wanna do is Let's get a file name where it equals access.log. And if we run this, here's our log printed down here. So it says, hi, how are you? And of course, if the other one we have is our dpkg.log, which if we run this, and we can see also all the other logs. So these are all system logs being scraped by Promptile, given to Loki, and then Grafana, we can visualize them all. If you like content like this, check out my courses linked in the description. Also my Chrome extension called Witceptor. You'll probably find it pretty useful. I wanna thank you for liking and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Besides that, take it easy.